Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to breathe. On an April night in 2007, I was sitting in my living room in Peachtree City, Georgia, when my dad came home with news. He was considering taking a new job in a different state. Fast forward a few months, and there I was, sitting in a new living room, 500 miles away, here in Wilson, North Carolina. For most of my eighth grade year, I was infuriated by my parents' decision to uproot me from a place where I had friends who loved me and teachers that thought the world of me to a foreign land where there was an ongoing debate between which was better, Bills or Parkers, and March of Madness was more important than Christmas. <laughs> a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh. As I speak to you now, I see faces that I've come to know and love so much. In front of me are my classmates who excel in academics, those who are talented in music, art, and dance, others who are gifted athletes, and even those who haven't discovered their areas of talent yet. Each one of us has encountered times of tearing down certain obstacles in our lives and rebuilding areas. But here we sit as living testament that even though we have times of weeping, times of joy and laughter are sure to follow. On my first day of school at Elm City, I was walking down the hallway with students who were eager to see one another and start the new school year. Their happiness and laughter made me feel so alone that I was seriously considering pretending to be sick and calling my mom to pick me up. That is, until I felt a tap on my shoulder. I turned to see an enthusiastic Asian boy wearing a Harvard t-shirt with a huge grin on his face. Hi, I'm Michael Tran, he said. <laughs> I watched as he continued to do this peculiar, awkward greeting with more people, and I realized that I had a chance of fitting in at this new place. Michael, I'm not sure if you remember shaking my hand on that first day, but I'm so thankful that you did. There's a, time for, there's a time for everything, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. This entire ceremony is centered around us and our accomplishment of graduating from high school, but it presents an opportunity to embrace and show our gratitude to the people who have helped us achieve this moment. Personally, I would like to thank my family for the never-ending support they've given me ever since elementary school. And I'd also like to thank all the teachers who have helped me so much during the past four years at Fight. And finally, I would like to thank my friends. I couldn't have asked for a better group of people to go through high school with. So I ask you, classmates, to consider the people you need to embrace today. Who are the people in your life that have made a difference? Who are your Michael Trans? <laughs> a time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. While we might still be looking to determine who we are as people, Perhaps we will discover the answer will find us only after we give up the search. Today affords us an opportunity to prioritize what we think is important in our lives now. As we leave our childhood years and high school behind us, we can consider the people and values that are, that are beneficial to us and also those that are restraining us from becoming who we are destined to be. It is a time to keep those qualities that we value most about ourselves, like courage, responsibility, and honor, while throwing away the doubts and fears that are weighing us down. A time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Our time in high school is over now, and we are left to decide what comes next. Whether you're going to college, the military, or starting a career, the decision of how you will spend your time is not up to your parents, your teachers, or anyone else. It rests in your hands. When you encounter struggles or personal battles in your lives, I hope that you ultimately find peace wherever they may take you. There is a time for everything, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. As we exit this auditorium, we leave as people who are aware of their past, but ready to engage in the future. However, we must not forget that all of the present situation offers. I know that a few tears of mourning will be shed at the closing of this chapter of our lives, but we should not forget to pause, dance, and enjoy what today means to us and the people that have supported us along the way. Congratulations, Spike High School Class of 2012. It is time to celebrate. Woo!